Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shows Biology and this video is all about ICMR examination, Indian Council of Medical Research. Now ICMR name is very common these days, even anyone from the road you can ask, they will tell because of COVID-19, because of the coronavirus infection. So people th will think of you if you do a research in ICMR, ICMR funded project, they will think of you as someone of really great weightage and that's good, that's true. So what to do to apply for ICMR examination? What is ICMR GRF examination? What is the exam pattern for ICMR examination? What you need to do to, in order to qualify ICMR examination? And much more details about ICMR is coming in this video. Okay, so very first thing is the ICMR GRF examination is a you know, gateway to do PhD from ICMR or funding from ICMR. So these are different funding institutes. There are DBT GRF where the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, they fund the project. CSI and CSIR fund the project. UGC and UGC fund the project of PhD. Here ICMR as a governing body will fund your PhD program. Obviously, it will be a PhD entrance examination. And the total number of seats are very low and that is what the drawback of ICMR examination. The total number of seats is only 150 and among 150, 120 is restricted for biomedical sciences and 30 is restricted for social sciences. So basically there are 120 seats and based on the number of applicants there are more than this time I think in 2021 more than 1 lakh people will apply for ICMR because CSI net is pending, ICMR admit card is already out so I believe it's a huge competition and from among 1 lakh people 120 will be selected. So without any further ado let me tell you about the exam pattern of ICMR examination. The exam is designed in a way there are two different papers paper 1 and paper 2. The paper 1 it has 50 questions and 50 all 50 questions are compulsory you need to answer all the 50 questions. And in paper 2, there are 150 questions and you need to answer only 75 questions. So you have a choice of answering question in paper 2, uh, but in paper 1, you don't have any choice. So both all, in all papers, all the question, each question is of 1 marks. So total 50 compulsory with paper 1 and 75 uh, choiceable from paper 2. So it gives us total 125 questions and 1 marks for each question. So that means the total number of questions, total number of questions comes here is 125. Okay, that is the highest marks that you can get in ICMR examination 125. And there is also a negative marking of 25%. So every wrong answer will be minus 0 0.25 cut out from your already existing marks. Now let me tell you a simple idea about how to prepare for ICMR exam. The question that you are going to see in paper 1 is is for a general uh, science or general aptitude kind of questions. So this question is very common and in fact in all uh, like examination, all competitive examination these days, there will be a common paper one. So I believe you all need to go through that. But what about the paper two? That is the subjective one. That is the 75 question that you need to answer. That one also is really, really easy. The syllabus is very similar with that of the CSI net syllabus. So if you're practicing for CSI net, preparing for CSI net, ICMR will be very easy for you. In fact, I've seen many people qualifying ICMR very easily compared to the qualifying, uh, you know, you'll get very good marks in ICMR actually compared to the CSI net. But qualification depends on the cutoff because the number of students will apply is really high and there is only 126. That's why it becomes really complicated. You'll get good marks, but still you'll see within one mark there will be 20, 30, 50 students ranging. Uh, between them. So that makes this examination little difficult. So what I'm going to say is that the question that they ask in paper 2 also somewhat like part B questions of CSI net. If you don't know what part B question of CSI net, you can watch my CSI net video. So the questions are direct memory best, memory time. There will be few calculation questions, calculation related to the biochemistry, calculation related to some of the protein chemistry and DNA things. So those questions are little bit uh, analytical but still can be answered within minutes. So that are the type of question you are going to see. Part B type question, not that much parts here, bigger question. Small question, one mark questions. So answer question if you are 100% confident and also practice your basics. And for part 1 or paper 1, particularly you need to study your plus 2 knowledge. If you have your plus 2 knowledge cleared up, you will be able to answer that just fine. So for practicing ICMR, 
just do the regular practice for csi and net that's fine along with that practice some of the previous year question papers although they don't provide the question papers with the students so you may get question papers which are memory based online so that's fine but practice some of these questions and also prepare for part 1 and that is very very important because i know many students scored 70 273 in part b but in part a or paper 1 they do, don't do well as a result they fail so don't do that if you get a good score you will be giving a chance in icmr funded project funded phd so what is the age limit exactly the same as csi net that is the age limit for 28 years for uh, general category Uh, and uh, for any other category, you can go with that SCST on all this category. That is relaxation of five years. That is thirty, thirty-three, uh, uh, thirty-three years. Twenty-eight plus five, thirty-three years. And for women, uh, women in this case is thirty-one years. That's how the relaxation is provided for the GRA. Okay. What is the eligibility criteria? The eligibility criteria is again same as CSI. That is fifty-five percent. Uh, you need to score in your last. qualifying examination that is your msc you need 55% minimum score in order to apply for this so let's see the list rest of the details in my computer screen where we'll talk about all this as a summary so that you get to know about that you can take a screenshot and practice it okay so now i'll be summing up icmr examination or icmr jrf indian council of medical research this name is very common these days due to the corona virus but this is there for a long time so let's see what basic informations are there for icmr jrf examinations why do you apply for icmr jrf if you want to do phd from icmr institute application release month is july the exam month is september for this year this is shifted so right now i am making the video on 10th september 2021 and based on this date now the icmr application form releases in july and exam in september but till last year and the year before the exam date and the release form date is little different so always verify that eligibility criteria is msc or ma or equivalent degree with minimum 55% marks for general ews and obc candidates and 50% for sc st and pwbd candidates with their respective subject age limit upper age limit for the admission is 28 years on 13 13th september 2021 if you think of this year's release and relaxation of up to 5 years relaxation 5 years in case of the candidates of sc st okay and pwbd and female candidates get 3 years of relaxation along with obc seats a total of 150 total of 150 fellowships will be awarded and that is a drawback for icmr because the number of seats is really limited application fee for general and ews and obc category it's 1500 plus transaction charges in your uh, online mode but generally is 1500 rupees for sc st candidates 1200 rupees for pwd candidates nil so let's look at the icmr exam pattern for 2021 and icmr grf 2021 exam pattern here mode of examination will be online cbt mode the language of examination will be english the type of question will be multiple choice type or mcq type the test duration will be 2 hours the number of question will be 150 the number of sections will be three sections and the marking scheme one mark is awarded for each correct answer and 0.25 mark will be deducted for an incorrect answer so 25% uh, negative marking is there that's it if i believe this video helps you out for icmr examination if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future i'll see you in the next video bye